Google Sheets and other spreadsheet applications like Excel have what we call text functions. And text functions are functions that uh, they, they work mostly based on logic as opposed to like mathematical functions and they help you separate strings of text and by string of text I mean all the text in a cell so if you have the red brown fox runs over the fence or whatever that saying is um, if you have that statement this is considered a whole string of text everything in that statement there and left, right, and mid are functions that we can use to pull things out of that string of text. Now, where this becomes most applicable is uh, usually if you're trying to separate text that's together, or if, like, let's say, for example, you copy and paste something from a Word document, and it doesn't necessarily paste into your Excel spreadsheet or into your Google Sheets spreadsheet um, very effectively, you can separate text out. Um, so the example we have here today is I have a bunch of names and I have a bunch of phone numbers and we're going to use these uh, these functions left, right, and mid to pull some of the data out um, of, of our existing data. So the first thing we're going to do is use the left function to pull out data for uh, the phone number because we're missing our area code here and we want to be able to sort our individuals here by an area code. So just like any other function, we start with equals and we type the name of the function left, okay, and open parentheses. And there's two components inside this function. There's string and then the number of characters. So string is uh, pretty simple, right? Um, it, it's whatever we're trying to pull it from. So if we're trying to pull the area code, we're gonna use this reference here. We wanna pull it directly from there. And then the number of characters, well, we know the area code is three characters, so I'm just going to type a three, close parentheses, and hit enter. And now I have my area code, okay? Um, I can get it for all of my, all of my phone numbers, and now I, I'm, I'm good to go. Now, right and mid work similarly. In fact, right works the exact same way, except rather than pulling from, because left we pulled from the left side of our string and went three characters over. Right does the exact same thing, except you're gonna pull from the right side. So let's say, I don't know why you would do this, but let's say for hypothetical example here, we wanna pull the last four characters of their phone number, maybe to use it as a key in a table. So I'm gonna type equals right, open parentheses, and then the string, reference that again, comma, four, and close it. And now we have here, let me make this text a little bigger for us. And now we're able to pull out that data. Now, this can be really helpful in particular if you're trying to, uh, if you're trying to create your own custom text string as well. You can use ampersands or the and sign to be able to create your own little, uh, own little text format. So let me give you an example with that. So with this, our area code, a lot of times area codes are represented in parentheses. So if I wanted to do that, I could come up to my formula bar here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in here, I'm gonna just do a quote, right? Open parentheses and then another quote and then do an ampersand. So it's gonna do this open quote mark and left of B2, three characters over. And then at the end, I'm going to do and, quote, close parentheses, and enter. And now, it adds in my parentheses right there, okay? So left, right, and mid, it's a really effective way that you can pull data out. Um, one last thing with mid, mid is the, um, it's the same idea, except we're going to pull something out from the middle. And uh, it always pulls out from the left. In other words, if I do... Uh, let me just let me just show you. So if I do equals mid open parentheses, I'm going to select my string just like these others, except now instead of just selecting the number of uh, characters, it wants me to ask where I'm starting at, because since I'm going to start somewhere in the middle of the string, I, I need to tell Google Sheets which character I want to start at. So in this example, we'll pull out these middle three um, middle three digits here. So one, two, three, four, five characters over. So that's where we're gonna start at. We're gonna start at five, comma, and then we uh, put in the length. So just like with the other text functions, I put in a three, because that's how many characters I want. 
and now I get 693, right? So um, these these form uh, these functions, when I first learned them, I almost kind of like, when the heck would I ever use these? But I found that, especially in my professional career, I use these a lot because data is given to you in a format that you're not always expecting. Um, so you may need to manipulate the data and kind of make it conform to whatever you need it to be in order to actually use it.